What's happening, people? Hope you guys are well, and welcome back to All You Can Eat. And I mean all you can eat, Warriors. And I have, again with me, my best guest here. Look, he's <laughs> eating it up, like Zeke Elliott from the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Zeke, baby. Love it, Zeke there, baby. Um, but shout out, man. Uh, Ash, how you doing, my brother? Good to see you, man. Yeah, good, man, good. Uh, it's good to get on a long day at work and that, and then chill with my best friends over here with the Warriors. What's up? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, welcome everyone in from uh, all platforms. Uh, Jackson Ford, let's eat. Jacko, see you let's made the eat. team list. Good on you, brother. <laughs> Got a campus, Jacko. Yes, sir. The Jackos are in. The, the Jacko house. crew. The crew, yeah. And Tani, thank you. Thank you for coming in, Tani. I uh, appreciate you. Kia ora. Te nakoto. Tahi. Yeah, yeah. And my man, 40. Good story's not bad on Sunday. <laughs> 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 on you, bro. On your, on your 40, man. Good to see you, brother. And Steffi. Yes, thank you, everyone, coming in on the chat. Yes, and everyone in on Instagram, if you are in the house. Um, sorry, I can't get to all the comments, but I have pinned the YouTube link to come over to Wires Up TV. So appreciate you being in. Apologies, can't get to all your, your comments, but come over to Wires Up TV on, on YouTube. Link is there in, in the comment section. And we'll get to your guys' quarter as soon as we can. Thank you, everyone in from X and everyone in from Ash Thomas uh, TV. Or just Ash Thomas on YouTube. Thank you for Ash go. Uh, Richard and Raika Raika, welcome in. Te tau mata kia ora ro. Kia ora rani ro. Te nako e hoa. Kia ora brothers up the wires. As if you guys don't know Rani, man, he's, he's up there, man. And this guy sports in the realm of production and Ooh. film and direction. Um, so big up. Big up the brother. Thank you for coming. Big up. Um, guys, the, the run sheet for tonight pretty much is um, we're going to do a bit of video analysis. Um, start off, recap the game, and then we'll get into a little bit of news. Obviously, Metcalf is a concerning one. Mm. Um, and then, obviously, the team list will a lot to break down. Me and me and Ash pretty much <laughs> off off camera. We're like trying to figure out the puzzles, and, and it seems like it's kind of like that every week. But, um, <laughs> yeah, bro, we, we're going to have to deep dive into that as well. Um, but, um, and then we'll get into our combined 17 and see where we go from there. But yeah, appreciate your comments, guys. We'll pull them up as much as I can. And if anything insightful comes up, we'll, we'll, we'll have a call it off. If you've got some questions, we'll, we'll find time for that as well. So anyway, bro, let's, um, um, yeah, first thing actually, Jacko Ford saying, uh, prayers go out to Mets and his family. Hope, hoping 100%. for a speedy recovery. Thoughts go out to Luke and welcome to back team. Actually, while we're here, I think it is touching. Let's, let's start off quickly. Metcalf, bro. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's a tibia, so it, was yeah. actually, it wasn't a shin. It, it was actually bigger, and I've, I think tibia or is it fibia? One of the two is, is they both bad. Either either one of them. Yeah. Um, but talk to me, brother. Um, what's your th- yeah? How are you feeling? How 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 we are we as fans feeling about this whole situation? And and what is the next steps moving forward? And how what does it look like? Yeah, sore man, very very sore. It's a sore day, you know. Obviously, our future re-signed with us. 
um, when everything was looking great. You know, I think the biggest positive we can take out of this, as we spoke about before, it wasn't a muscle injury or anything like that, but obviously still hurt. So we're going to be without uh, one of our main players for a decent chunk of this year. I think, you know, we'd probably just be back for finals by the looks of it, wasn't it? Like 10 to 10 to 12 weeks or something. I'm seeing so many different names. There's still yet to be determined, but um, good to see him put out on his Instagram that he's out of surgery. Everything went well. Uh, it's just recovery time for the man. And um, yeah, we'll be waiting for you, bro. He's our future. Uh, I think we all can agree with that. So um, just got to stick sturdy there. And um, hopefully, you know, Tamade and um, and Shawnee or Chanel later on in like this year, who knows? Um, hopefully they can really fill that void. Really tough break for the kid. Mm. It, it's, you know, he's he's been had sh- struggles with, with hamstrings and fe- felt like as though that, I felt just from a vibe thing that he wasn't going to have any hamstring injuries this year. I just yeah. felt good vibes about his, him and his body and that the recovery time even for that last one, if you guys can go back, he, he could have actually made the – well, not the, made the finals. Maybe he could have made a grand final. But the, the time frame for that last hamstring just finished maybe two or three weeks after the, the NRL season. Yeah. So it wasn't like a full – like remember with the start hit when he first started first last one. year, it was mm-hmm. almost thirteen weeks, I think it was. So it was a long time. If I felt as though the hamstrings were coming right, and maybe as you get, I don't know, I'm making this up, but my feeling was as as he's getting older and more mature, his hamstrings may settle down. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm not a doctor, but um, <laughs> now you it's, come here for your doctor. Yeah, needs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you want some, some medical advice, definitely don't come here. Um, but <laughs> but basically, yeah. I, this is just out of the blues. Something just totally will will be a massive setback mentally. But I I hope he I mean looks good in, in recovery there. But it's it's a big step back for him. Am mm. I happy that he signed the deal early? For him, I am yes. Because but I I I was initially waiting for the six week mark for yeah. him to sign, yeah. and this happens pretty much on week four or five. Mm. Imagine if he didn't sign that deal. Um, it reminds me of Isaiah Thomas and for the Celtics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, bro. He should have signed the deal, but um, he got <laughs> the injury, and and who knows what could have happened, you know? Exactly. Um, oh, exactly. and Tani, good, good call. Ironically, the same injury happened to Tamaide. Oh. Is that a little bit of mataku from him coming from the old Tainui What's there? What's going Sydney? on? <laughs> no, that's sad. I'm, a little bit of black Chills. magic going there. there. Bro, <laughs> that's I, hectic. I, 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 I was sending it back to... No, I'm just... <laughs> Savage, yeah. Bro, I didn't even notice that. That's hectic. Like, you know, maybe that's a whole different storyline. You know, obviously, Tomato was out for all the season and came back for the final series. You know, maybe Mets is ready to go in final series and see what happens later on in the year. But... Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, just... Saw miss, you know, the speed is a big thing. You know, I think uh, one of our commenters down below said, you know, his speed is an asset and that's a hundred percent it. Like, you know, you can't really, you can't teach speed and you know, yeah. some people just have it naturally. And I think it, it was vital for our team to have a player like him, especially yes. with support players and stuff like that. So um, yeah, definitely avoid that. We have to fill this year, but um, I'm sure that we got experienced boys around there like Tamade and, um, and Chanel that are going to fill that void quite nicely, yeah. but yeah, I still miss Mets. I'll miss Mets. It is. Yeah, and again, totally different type of look to, with, with Chanel. And yeah, and it's, I mean, we were, you know, talking about Metcalf. And not, we shouldn't be acting like this was a funeral, but it's like, yeah. um, you know, man, remember we used to talk about Metcalf? And it was, Bro, <laughs> it's like, yeah. Do you remember uh, the days of all Mets the to start the season? But um, what I mean by it is like, we're watching him as he's progressing. It's like watching someone develop, yeah. and you're and you're thinking, man, if this guy can just use his speed and and with RTS and things can click, this can really know. open up for him. And we're on hold now um, because of an injury. But you make a good point. It is like a broken injury. It's a, it's a bone injury. Mm. These things can usually repair as long as it's not muscle related. Um, yep. It kind of takes a bit of that um, re- repeatable element of it i suppose eh? yeah yeah. very similar to like you know when toby turbo um you know was it last year with the origin that he did his shoulder and everyone was like the positive thing is what it wasn't another hamstring or you know (laughs) or anything like that like tommy's had an injury problem like that and mets unfortunately has had a history with injuries coming through so um this is you know more of a structural injury so hopefully 
he recovers, everything goes well. And um, hopefully, you know, he probably, oh, I don't know if you lose speed with these sort of injuries or anything like that, mm. but um, I'm sure he's going to keep everything nice and sturdy and um, get in rehab as quickly as possible. Yeah, prayers out to, to Mick Cuff and his family. I know he'll probably be even feeling a bit homesick at uh, this time, and let's hope he can get the support around him. Um, Tell about the quarter dog. Um, first game I've made it to this season at Mount Smart, and he needs to go to the fans. Nothing beats a sold out Mount Smart when the boys score. Yes, shout out to is. the fans. It is a big shout out to the fans, and 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 mate, just to see the impact the clubs had. Um, you know, it's just people love the game. People love the Warriors. Mm-hmm. Um, the up the wires movement that the guys Amazing. what they've done um, to see a sold out crowd like that every through <laughs> like right. you know it's been years since we've seen sold out crowds um, in any kind of sport um, week after week um, so you got to give credit to from the top down um, awesome awesome and stuff. everyone learning the song too and all that so after games everyone's just belting out the song yeah like, oh man like we did it in the um, preliminary final when we lost to the Broncos for Shawnee and all that and like, oh, just a feeling of just the community. Like, yeah, it's it's so good to be a Warriors fan right now. Yeah, and shout out to Warriors Fan TV, who I know is at, at all the games. Uh, the brother Nick and Tans, I saw Tans there as well. Welcome back, Tans. Um, they're putting in the hard mahi there up at uh, Lily Worlds or wherever in the stadium they can get some interviews. So, guys, if um, if yeah, if you can get out there, get a crossover and catch up with Nick sometimes to go out and have a court at all have an interview it just gives a good representation i feel of the fan base and and the people that support the team and i think uh, nick does a wonderful job um yeah i took it on either from time out to call it or the fans of the stadium has been fire this season yeah yeah big up big up the fans and actually guys i'll be out there in two weeks time at uh for the sea eagles so yeah first game of the season um finally uh the missus has released me. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Dust off the jersey, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's, she's coming too, but uh, but um, we're yeah, we're gonna have a good time up there. So we'll catch up with people uh, up there in a few weeks. Um, Nenad, sorry, no, 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 dragons chat. Actually, no, we, we might. I was really impressed with your your guys' team, um, yeah. putting away the seagulls in that manner. So we might have a little bit of dragons at the end there, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, um, don't hope too much, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Go have your dinner and come back later. Okay, <laughs> l- l- let's get into this um this video footage, guys. Uh, we will, yeah, we're going to break it down. Um, bear with me. Ash on the big screen. <laughs> um, yes, here we go. So um, just enjoy, guys. We will pull up comments as, we, as much as we can, and you know how it is. I think this is a bit 1080p, guys. I made sure to make sure that when I was chopping it up, it was a little bit sharper. I hope it's not Minecrafty. Uh, should be pretty clean. This one I was just noticing the emphasis mm. to get Sean um, really targeting Sean in a way, yeah, um, and getting Ponga on the out the back on Sean. I think working in three on twos, they they're really good at it. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Kind of example here, getting Sean like Sean. I know wants to stay on the outside shoulder, but how they were using uh, what's this guy's name? The back uh, row is that Daniel Saifidi there, isn't it? That what looks like Saifidi. Is that a 10 on his back? Oh, no, it's Kai Pierce Paul. Sorry. Kai yeah, he's, Paul, yeah. bro, he's so big, but Pierce Paul, man. Yeah, like, they, they used him really well. They did, yeah. And they actually got this is the, they wanted to get Sean to bite a little bit. Um, Which he did. Yeah. And then the varieties off of the three on two was, you know, through the hands, really good stuff. Yeah. Um, and I thought the boys did well to, to recover. I mean, yeah. A lot of that type of stuff is just about recovery time. Um, so I thought this was really good. Um, so, yeah, just sort of targeting Sean throughout the night. Um, so there was a big emphasis. And I suppose if you're thinking about it, that's probably – would you be right in saying, Ash, that that's, that's the stronger attacking side for the Knights? To go yeah, the I'll, I'll say so for sure. Yeah. Um, usually they got Greg Marju and all that on that side, and that's a really yeah. damaging side. Braden and Bears, Greg Marju, and that Kai Pierce Ball's got so much potential running those lines there. And we saw it later on in the game. You'll probably get some tape on it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, him cutting back inside of the field was like pretty damaging towards us as well. So yeah, uh, they used him very well in this game. Yeah, yeah. Um, this was another one where from the get-go, pretty much Ponga was interested in the whole um, put one in behind. Put one in behind. Yeah. Mm. Just get a really strong line following through and just the timing of the kick. Um, and putting it in these kind of like dead areas, you yeah. know, like not the long grubber. And you'll see with the, we'll get to Frizzell footage, 
but like putting it in areas like just kind of almost dropping it one bounce and up yeah um which was very effective but we neutralized that but it's a kind of a theme um exactly. throughout the game i yeah. think they might have went in there like obviously rts's first game proper at fullback full position that they were like well we can maybe c catch him out a little bit lacking at fullback which um yeah which is you know somewhat smart enough but i think rts you know handled his own for as much as he could in this game um yeah. definitely with that sort of stuff and that, this is the double leads again, not quite there. And I think it will sort itself out when CNK comes back. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Well, I, I noticed that. I think the good, the thing that teams are doing is they're getting big push, trying to be the first to engage before they set. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're kind of getting to those lead runners actively yep. um, instead of being on the receiving side, sort of, you know, um, you know standing like flat footed getting yep. caught out that way i think a lot of teams are being more active in that type of a uh, look do we currently we use our fronty probably a little bit better there where uh barnett's a little bit behind shawnee usually i think barney is like closer up where wade can use him maybe as that decoy to start yeah. that set yes because i noticed that obviously bradnam um he didn't bite in at all too much on barry there he just left that lead in because they came so deep that fronty would have took that first man they went straight at shawnee so um yeah. Didn't really give the best ball for RTS to do much there, but RTS, I'm pretty sure this is where he does the offload, right? Yeah, it's yeah, still creates, bro. Still creates. Bro. Dang, Dallin, I think, smart. Just hang on the wing there. 100. If you can get a bite from Tuala, then great. Um, sorry, I did. I just cut away some of the footage. You're there. right, bro. Um, this is the Ford try. Yeah, so yep. um, this was just nice. Just look at Sean. That. That's what we talk about when squaring that. up the defense. That that's what we want to see, body shape wise, eh? Yep. Dip, dipping in, um, committing that defender, and then um, gamble, biting, yeah, biting on the kind of CHD out the back. It's a Just, beautiful deep set line there too. Like set, it's yeah. it's so hard for Gamble to really judge if it's going out the back or not. Where the way Ford runs that hit line there and Chanel's like tucked in behind, it's tough, man. That's yeah, tough. it is a tough read. Yeah, and I've, I've noticed that with a lot of our reads is that we're kind of on that gray area. So the guy behind is almost really kind of, yeah, in a period, position where you're not sure if he's going to pop out or if they're going to do the lead. So it's really really hard read but um yeah this was great to see amazing yeah Fuck, Kalen did his best on this one though oh my yeah. god he did he did he did absolutely but yeah. jacko great work to get it down beautiful right there yep beautiful um this was the yeah this was the cht straight after the little video on this i thought it was just really cool um yeah, across the body, across the face. Adam yep. actually just drawing attention as always. Um, and then... Mark it down. Mark Bang. it down, eh? Attack. Yep. And like, I was talking about this about Freddie Lussick last time. Yeah. <laughs> it was a mark it down and he didn't do anything. Straight yeah. out of the back. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't want <laughs> He's like, he's too scared. But If you, you watch know. a lot of RP Coruscant, bro, like, you know, Wado is good at it. All the top, top hookers that are amazing at it. Like Harry Grant, Appy Coruscant, Wade Egan. As soon as that mark is like separated or they're, they're struggling to get back at all, they just strike and it's so tough to handle. Yeah, they just go away. And I think that's over time, obviously, Lusick will get to that. But yep. this is just, um, yeah. Beautiful. Let me, and then just look, switch hands into the fend. Do was you know what I mean? elbow too? No, his elbow was the opposite elbow, right? Yeah, the opposite one. Is the opposite one. It's usually always strapped, so I didn't, you never really get to know what's going on. He's kind of like, you know, a Tohu Harris these days. Yeah. So, <laughs> strapped up. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be like that by the end of the season. <laughs> um, this one, I just I thought, oh, we'll show you the backside footage, but it looked really good in terms of, um, yeah, just little cells, little eye movement catching Ponga just for those little details Yeah, um, to get over the line. Um, I just thought it was really good. Unreal, um, <laughs> fishyati. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's gonna be fish vibes. This one, we'll see the. I'll show you, show you the behind the. Uh, Beautiful. And then same again, like engage. Retreating marker. Yep. Um, frizz with our RTS. He had all eyes at RTS. Yeah, and RTS holds there. That's the key. There's RTS holds. Hmm. 
and then dummy in straight into the fed like knows exactly what he wants to do beautiful that's beautiful right there and push off he's actually yeah. quite strong upper body right like wado like i know yeah, this he is, multiple he times is. this game bro he always get yeah. held up and he's always got the bumpers up and he just really struggled to get down he's got good balance so yeah yeah big up cloth stuff yeah he can engage in the egg defender with his eyes sees the markers mm. out of his takes full control there yeah, good on you, man. Yeah, and, and that's kind of what we're breaking down here. Hundred percent. And people saying, why didn't RTS chase through? Well, he's kind of blocked there. Yeah. But the key here is Chanel re sees it and 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 engages with that. And shout out to my man Tater, um, Ramika, mentioning <laughs> that he he and um and Chanel actually have a history. You know, like he, they played a lot together. Oh yeah. So, you know, from you know from the COVID era and yep, all that. Yep. So it's another yep. way of saying you know. I think they're kind of in tune with each other and you can kind of see here just Chanel just but really active actively pushing in front of that show see getting in front of gamble there very well done yeah and this was just nice i just thought look inside look out shawnee yep yeah. sell one more there bang just get a little bit of a little bit of movement from um ponga there just that see that just switch oh. of the body you just pull him left a little bit there Chanel right on time. Perfect. He just sums up things so quickly, man. He's Look like at these here. eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this it's is like where my heart dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and the big arm comes over the top, and you're like, oh, no, not again, please. <laughs> um, it's like those dreams, you know, when you're, ch you're getting chased and you can't get away. <laughs> so yeah. when I watched this in slow mo, I was like, no, nah, man. Oh, I was hoping oh, not. Look at it. Look at the smile. Oh, bro. <laughs> Anything could have happened. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, it's like, oh, right there, lucky. <laughs> oh, man, I'm thinking, oh. But then he had to fake, like, he had to keep laughing. Hey, like, and he <laughs> yeah. came up, but it was like, if that you was me, I'd be like, oh, crap, man. I literally <laughs> pumped this dry. And Chanel was like, no, nah, I've got to keep smiling. I've got to keep smiling because the boys would be, you know. But nah, nah, great stuff. Amazing, amazing. Um, But yeah, um, cough stuff. Yeah, RTS plays his part too. Yep. And that's and that's the beauty like again guys um you know credit to rts um that he 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 doesn't have to break the line but he can be a presence and, and attract people 100%. Um, you know what i mean so 100%. yeah um damn it's amazing what you see when you sleep. thank you yeah thank you tons it's all oh, it's for everyone to see obviously when you, if you take time to look at it but the little details of egan there um just beautiful way beautiful man with the eyes with the body like yeah so so good <laughs> richard i bet coach told me now <laughs> yeah. never again yeah when he was going in for the huggy webby in the air bro thank you, <laughs> thank you boy <laughs> All right, tyson gamble did something similar for the knights last season i'm pretty sure it was in that final game against the raiders oh, yeah, i'm pretty that, sure yeah, yeah 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 and the coach is like yeah never again yeah. don't do that again <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I love it. Love to see Chanel. Um, again, this is that working that channel and see mm. Kai Pierce Paul's, um, Paul. what's his name? Kai Pierce Paul. That's it, my bro. Yep. It's Can like Hunter Hearst Helmsley's like, it's I know, bro. Play. It's Triple H. <laughs> it's Kai, KPP. <laughs> KPP. Um, but this one get, get some really good there. Get some bang on. 100%. And so it put and but then Ponga with the great decision making there. Yep. Just catches the ball and now catches bang. Skip pass. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bang. Because um, I think he read that pretty early. You know, on the earlier ones, obviously Dal's wanting to push in on Brad and Bess and cut off his time as much as he could. Um, so he summed that up beautifully. Um Yeah, and, and Tomata's saying fish getting <laughs> straight. <laughs> <laughs> and he raced it 10 years after the fact that's crazy i know bro i i apologize it's from the deep recesses of the mind the poor fish, <laughs> but should, oh, poor, poor fish he's catching he's probably got a family <laughs> catching strays. He's, doing, he's working somewhere overseas and rugby or i don't know where he is but he's like what the what how did my name pop up <laughs> Some random dude doing video analysis yeah no big up, big up but I need it, bro. we miss you fish <laughs> yeah 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 and you, and you got caught yeah that's another one hey eh, jacko and you got caught short when swine yeah i think he did good old but, christian inu bro yeah, he could be the highest of high and the lowest of lows he was amazing at times but at times 
Almost as bad as losing Chanel Tavita Harris. Oh, <laughs> bro. It can happen a lot, though. I, I think I've done that maybe once. Yeah. But, oh, like, that happens all over commentary, bro. His, his <laughs> name fits, like, nice either way. You know yep. what I mean? Like, yep. Nickel Clockstead flows nice. You can't really stay Clockstead Nickel because your, your, your mouth nah. trips up. <laughs> Uh, James Fisher Harris is another one, or James Harris Fisher. <laughs> you know, yeah, Harris it's Fisher. like no, it doesn't no. work. Like, Tavita Harris, Harris Tavita kind of flows. I can see where you can get that mixed up. Hundred percent. Um, Sean Kenny Dow, Sean Dow Kenny. <laughs> yeah, oh, it doesn't really, right. uh, Doesn't really work there. SKD. Yeah. Can skins. you think of another one? Fuck. <sighs> Roger Tuovasa Sheck. Sheck Tuovasa. <laughs> RST. <laughs> RST baby. <laughs> Imagine if you're calling RST, bro. What? It's like you know the parents have got to take accountability on that one, please. <laughs> oh, the in the close the, the Harris Chanel Tavina. <laughs> that would be oh the, God! Long cycle. The I'm sure Blocker's got to call him that at least. Oh, once. Blocker's got to say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's put up for Blocker, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Sunny Williams. Sunny Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that that don't work, eh? Hey. Oh man, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we started oh, something, hey. We started something here, man. <laughs> Watch out, bro. Watch out. We're gonna hear Monty in there on the blooming <laughs> Sonny Williams Bill. Oh yeah, my no, that's god. Great, man. Good stuff. Oh my god. But yeah, again, just Ponga using they wanted to get in those three on twos and, and then use Ponga's skill set. Um but again, good recovery. I mean, didn't panic, you know, guys. Hold up, bro. Yeah. Um, RTS, RST, should we say? RST. <laughs> RST, you know good me. Old, they cover defense on RST. <laughs> but yeah, good cover defense. But this is going to happen. Um, it was a targeted plan, I think, from um, from the Knights. And yeah. It worked well. It worked well. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Um, this is that play that we were talking about. Um, and going back to the fact about RTS not having a four weeks prep, not going to be in everything in terms of link play. Yep. But this is a nice variety to have off of a you know a one weeks prep, a cut back inside, and using that lead runner and kind of forcing the shape back against the grain. I love that. I really yeah. do. Frizzell though, right there. Um, he was there all night. Um, yeah, uh, but, but still it breaks the tackle and it generates, you know, some, some momentum, should we say? Yeah. Yeah. But thoughts on this? Is it something do you think that, that, that RTS could do from the center position coming in or is it, do you think that's kind of packed away only for fullback packages? I, I, I think it honestly he can, I think he can come into that center and do a little bit of work there. Like we've seen Joey Manu do it in the past. I know he's the one that always gets brought up about like, you know, a center that plays more of that fullback type of role and stuff like that. I'm sure that we can really bring him in and um, use him through the middle a lot more like this. Um, he would obviously get a lot of attention straight away as soon as he moves to the middle, but we could use that to our advantage, like a way to Egan could use that to his advantage and stuff like that. So uh, I feel like it could definitely work, especially the amount of eyes that RTS just lights up. Like, yeah, for sure yeah. that could work. Yeah. Um, but again, tackle breaks, everything that we need, uh, generating, you know, momentum type stuff. So just really cool. Yep. Um, <clears throat> uh, this one, again, now this is why we talk about um, why the strategy for is to kick those high bombs. This is an example of where you kick it on the ground, which is cool, um, yep. but it's directly to Ponga. He got so much time. And he got really so much summer. time and just stretched yeah. the defensive line. Another example of why you, you want to limit guys like this, we've talked about Xavier Coates, we've talked about any outside back that's a threat. You want to mm -hmm. keep them free of time. Um yeah, if you're going to do a kick like that, usually you want to get it into space. Um, you want to get it in behind and maybe just touching the end goal. Like, that's where that works. Um, yeah, I felt like maybe he had a little bit too much time to really think about it. Uh, and, yeah, come up with a little bit of a wrong decision. But, fuck, KP, man. He sums things up so quickly. Yep. Catching Catches, Bunty. Catching Bunty, catching Cape Wall off there. Mm. <clears throat> um, and that's where, yeah, we just don't want to be in these positions. Yeah. I think that's why we go... A lot of the time for the the bomb, exactly. Yep, exactly, bro. Because that's just a great example. <laughs> Toy getting put in the spin cycle there. 
Because um, I was wondering too, going into this game, who we were going to put that bomb pressure up on because, um, you know, Jenkins is still young into the league. Chuala <clears throat> did amazing in this game with meters and all that. Um, but like, to me, it wasn't really that meat eater that we're going to worry. If it was Greg Marju, 100%, we'll target him off that kick so he doesn't get yeah. that second return and stuff like that. That's right. Um, yeah. So I was really curious on what way we're going to go there. This one, um, I think it's a little bit of like, um, My feet moving. Um, no, no, good, good, good stuff by our guys. Um, Chanel really releasing well. Um, Pompey, I thought just a really good game from him. Yeah. In terms of defensive reads, shuffling feet. Uh, those three were really actually quite tied in really well. Yep. Um, but just, you know, Chanel really pushes off and, and, and then covers well. Um, 100%. And in those situations, uh, Pompey just using again. I've been big on him as a from a size perspective. He can just wrap around people and and hug them. Exactly. Um, yep. Exactly. He's definitely a little bit of a bigger body on that edge that you can just like his wingspan's a big thing as well. So good to have him there. Yeah. Um. Same again. This is kind of the same thing. Um, Chanel. Holding this time for bites in on on Frizzell. Mm. Look and then releases back. But does a good job to release to, and cover that to cover. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, in, none of no one's gonna get perfect. We've just talked about Sean, you know, having issues with the other side. So yep. but the guys do well. Um Pompey does well and Montoya tied in, jammed the right guy. Um and but Chanel getting across. So I think again, it's like this stuff isn't like they're not they're kind of yes, they're getting an extra man, but we're we're sliding across and and covering well. But you agree with that? Hundred percent. Cover defense is the biggest thing, man. Like I think, you know, if like a lot of the best teams in a competition, no matter what happens, if they get through that first line, they scramble the best. Like the Panthers are probably the best at scramble defense. Um, obviously overall, like, I think even like, if you check your stats and stuff, I'm pretty sure the Panthers are actually up close to the top of the competition right now for missed tackles, but it also just shows just how much they scramble and stop defense, like stop attack doing what they got to do. So good point. Um, good it's a point. massive thing. Yeah. Good point. Uh, this is just the magician working his magic. Um, oh, this is hectic. Just the, the way he, he moves. Hey, look at that. Oh. Why lower yourself, brother? <laughs> We're gonna get to see all you, all you get to see is ankles, bro. <laughs> and like I haven't studied it, but I think there's a whole lot going on with RTS. Obviously, the power, the speed, the on the dime, mm. changing of momentum, but the little subtle things he does with the ball in hand, like you know, changing the ball to the, he looks like he's gonna switch it to the outside hand, so you think he's gonna go left, and then he pulls it back. Yep. Um, just little, little details, you know. Yeah, he. Far oh, bro. Man. Just hard sell. It's like selling with his head as well, you know, like really like really accelerating, he's pushing his head to the left, and it's you know, all those little tricks that all the great steppers have. They 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 they're so good at that. Hundred percent. You know, using the using the whole body to And then to finish it with this, bro. This is Adam <laughs> Elliott, bro. Bolts, later bolt. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> a, yes. bro, Adam Elliott's a beast of a player. Like, sorry, RTS just doing it like easy. <laughs> um, yes, oh, oh, as RIP to Croker's ankles <laughs> on late too soon. And um, talking about the moi moi, yeah, bro. Um, yes, and, and exactly here, Iman, Imantis. Yeah, welcome in, brother, from um, Ashes Page. Uh, that was the best thing any fan could ask for what RTS produced. 100%. Um, yeah. And uh, Caleb, welcome in, man. First time if you're here. Um, yeah, Laban may be debut this week. We we're going to get into that. We'll just finish the session off and then we'll, we will get into that, brother. But good, yep. good shout. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. Nice one, Clough. Um, he always comes in strong, Clough. <laughs> he is, eh? he is. Um, but the, the 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 impact of this break is that look at this one off the second off of the play the ball, RTS run. Look how much meters Montoya has, mm. and I it's love amazing. that about our wingers. They just eat that space up. 
hundred percent. They're aggressive. They don't, you know, you have to have these strong ones and that's 15 meters or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, so that's part of why I think we're just doing so, so well off of RTS. Hundred percent, bro. Um, it generates for everyone. Everyone's eating off of them. You know what I mean. And that's been our DNA for so long too. Like those outside backs that do those type of work, like you know, Mamalo, um, Vatove, Meli, like bro. It's been in us for years. So good to see. Yeah. This is nice too. I thought like setting shape first, and getting guys interested. So yep. you go out the back to gam gamble. That kind of gets guys peaked. Everyone see if you can see they're on a in a in a face front position. No one's turned to go for the kick, so it's, they've they've obviously caught the attention. Yeah, and then it's like just really a tight kick. It's not a long grubber trying to push for the end goal. It's actually they want to get in this dead zone area, and it just catches everyone by surprise. Hundred percent. CHT probably could have got it, um, and then RTS kind of covering and it's just that's a dead zone area and it bounces up you know yeah sometimes that doesn't bounce up sometimes exactly. um you know those things don't fall into place so well we saw um, kate wells one this year remember when shawnee you know kate well kind of got it on the shark yeah, yeah, yeah. and the ball didn't bounce that way you know ball this time bounce, the ball away, bounce yeah. that way you know yeah and frizzell he's so tough to stop when he's in that position yeah yeah he is so yeah now what yeah um big up uh willie nathan welcome in man uh, welcome in there, brother. Um, Kira from the Gold Coast, loving the content. Thank you, my man. We appreciate yeah, it. My and Steph saying, Willie Mason, um, really impressed with our back three in this game. Yeah. Um, and, and Clough saying, also Adam Elliott would have, oh no, what's that? Sorry, sometimes these uh, comments, they get bumped up. Adam Elliott would have asked Millie what she would have done after being bounced by RTS. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> poor, poor, <Elliot. laughs> poor man, poor dude. Um, Amanda is saying Pompey didn't miss any tackles. He has really improved his defensive game. Very reliable, big body, does the job. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, came in, did a job, and um, yeah, RTS would be there. But it's just good to have boys like this to cover if anything goes wrong. Um, this was off the RTS um, uh, knock on. I just thought the boys did well to recover. Hundred percent. Um, I remember Jeff, you um, putting up a video on this. If you haven't gone check it out, guys, go check out uh, Levon's work, you know, Wise Up TV on Instagram and TikTok and all that. I'm pretty sure you put this up on your Instagram yeah. story with Rocco working hard. Yeah, yeah. Look at Rocco, guys. And obviously, RTS is behind him, but the, Rocco really works hard to solve the problem and, and find a solution. And he's called upon himself, said, I'm just going to get out there. 100%. And, and cover here. You might have got comms, you might have, who knows? But. Either way, he's out there. Um, it's our right side covering like a fullback. That's, that's yeah. hectic. Yeah. And it looks good too. Um, mm -hmm. Jacko gets in, pa in place. Pompey, again, getting in the right spot. Um, enough holds there. Yeah, they all work hard. Solve the problem. Yeah, Knights, if I'm being honest, if Knights, it's similar to the knock-on that... Um, um, what what happened last week against the Raiders and the RTS scored same situation. Yep, we had RTS, you know, attacked it straight away. The Knights pretty, I'd say, a little bit loose there. Yeah, without um, uh, with Dylan Lucas there instead of Gags, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, Gags that's another thing. Not in, a lot. Yeah, not engaging like on the ball. Probably yep. could have scored there. I think easily could have even got into the corner. Yep, but I like the idea there of Rocco covering it and just. You know, he might have been there to, to tackle that guy. Who knows? 100%. But what? just what's your thoughts on Rocco, bro? Just you know. Oh, just all effort, bro. And that's the biggest thing too. Like, you know, this is what's going to make him into an incre incredible center for the future. And I think that's the that's what he's built his game on. And that's the big thing. Like, his kick chase is amazing. His defense is amazing. He's so sturdy. And these are just adding little strings to his bow. Like, you know, cover defense here. Yeah. He does all the little things. And I think, you know, that's what all us fans love to see. Like, we've all fell in love with, you know, the Lux of the world and, you know, Cambians, you know, the Mannerings. Like, you know, he's got, he built his game on effort. And that's amazing. Yeah. And again, look, just <laughs> fly straight back out um, Bro. To, to center after doing a shift in there. And then it's, um, and he's back to work pretty much. Straight away. Amazing. Amazing. I, I'm, I'm going to say this is probably the best defensive goal line set of the year so far. 
Yeah. Uh, the way we scrambled, the way we hustled, um, yep. it looked really, really good. And same again, they want to get that Kai Pierce Paul look this time to skip. Um, solves Barry. it, bro. But again, Barry going right across, coming back. Um, mm-hmm. Love to see it, eh? Cutting uh, Bradnam back into the inside cover. Yep. That's like textbook. That's awesome. Yep. Textbook stuff, man. Beautiful. Um, uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Yeah, they're just big on emphasizing getting on this, getting the lead runner on the outside of Sean. Yeah. Um, but our guys did well in most situations. Like they got the right call. So Dell and James um, tap on and it's still covered. You know what I mean? So exactly. I think yeah, they're getting like they've had probably four or five different looks. They had the look where it's a skip pass to the winger. They kind of dealt with that or missed it. They've had the other options. Uh, that, like it's. It's really good, I think, defensively, that right side. Hundred um, percent, especially when we got Barry covering, like, especially for the, um, you know, Dallin coming in hard, like, you know, Barry covering on that side. He makes such good chopping, covering tackles. So, yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, is Rocco a bolter for Kiwis? Oh, yeah, he's got to deal with Tomoko, I suppose. Wow, yeah, Tomoko's there. Yeah, Tomoko and Joey Manu's last season, obviously. If um, yeah, you know, there's a few things. Yeah, but hey, he's he's a guy that's for the future for sure. After him, bro, he's, he's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely agree. Yeah, Kai, Paul, Kai, yeah. Kai Pierce, Paul. Kai Paul Pierce, man. Kai Paul Pierce. We're just talking about these names, man. <laughs> Paul Kai Dallin, Pierce. Dallin Zelezniak, what's in it? Oh, the hyphenated name is a modern woman, um, problem. And we're um, full of it, bro. I full love of it. The NRL's <laughs> full of it, mate. Oh, man, now we're going to have, uh, like, Four hyphens soon. Bloody hell. Adam Blake Fanua, bro. Adam Blake Fanua, <laughs> man. What a legend. Love ABF. ABF is a beast. ABF. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Oh, no. Nah. I love it. Yeah, but yeah, solving problems. Guys doing well. And this was to wrap it off. I think Pomps did a really good job here. Yeah. Um, a tricky one. Uh, a very tricky one. Um. Montoya does well to backtrack. If he doesn't backtrack there, it's a blooming try all day. So, That's awesome. But good good overall um, work by the team. Probably the best scramble deed goal line defense I saw this year so far. 100%. Um, yeah, and then the this one from CHT, and I thought this might be a big reason why he may start, but obviously we were aware of TMM coming back in. But a beautiful yeah. kick, and again, we have never really seen this. But this is the benefit of a left footed kicker. What's your views on left footed kickers, bro? And are they overvalued or undervalued? What value do they bring? Um, no, I think it definitely brings a, a great value. Obviously, if they get posted up on the right side, so they can um and end up using it to their full advantage and that. Um, yeah, I feel like you know sometimes it can be like a, a thing that pe- maybe people a little bit overrate, but uh, it's obviously a good thing to have in your squad. Of um, you know what I mean, like. Just the, the variety of having, you know, two either side kickers and that, keeping the ball at further length in different positions. Like uh, Aiden Caesar is another one for the Tigers. We saw mm. how they used him um, over the weekend as well with his kicking game. So uh, I'm pretty sure Jamal Fogarty is a left-footed kicker as well. So a lot of a lot of the really good kickers in the game are actually left-footed kickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, everyone in the chat giving the Pierce Paul Kai uh, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the old uh, Clockstead Nickel Chance. Oh, my God. That is a KNC. KNC. Love, KNC. Love me a bit of KNC. Can't wait for him to be back. It's got me Big hungry up. now, bro. That sounds like KFC. <laughs> <laughs> All you can eat, baby. All you can eat. That's why we're here. Um, but yeah, great stuff, Montoya. But again, right. something we haven't seen since day dot because of. Um, Obviously, the focus being on their right side and kicking wise. Yeah, um, this was good to see from Chanel showing his value, what he can do. Um, yeah, just and great, great catch by Montoya. Hundred um, percent. Great finish, Israel, we, and Israel we needed well. it. And we needed that. Yeah, we absolutely needed that. Big moment. Um, what have we got here? All right. This, I think it's just a little bit of shape. I was just trying to figure out what this is. Oh, this is the Kate Well break. Oh, yep, yep, yep. 
just nice. The way he cuts angles on the last minute there as yeah. a track roller, that's, yes. that's tough. That's nice. And again, RTS and that shape mm. holding um, best on the outside. Again, doesn't have to be involved, but can be used as a kind of a decoy or distraction. Yeah. What's your thoughts on, man, I, I really like this from Cape Bar, actually. Love it, man. Love it. You know, strong upper body, um, shows the versatility to get it up in the air, just hang it out there. And like, you know, the ball skill, just holding it there, holding it there. We're just waiting for that cover. Obviously, RTS gets pulled back here. Um, then we see Shawnee, I'm pretty sure, try to cover on his inside late. Uh, but it was just a little bit too late. He was just like, <laughs> where is someone, bro? He's like trying to get rid of it, eh? Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying to get rid of this bad. Really unfortunate end up going to an error. Um, just well done from like KP to really single out that arm and um, cause the error. But yep. yeah, like I've seen days, you know, that could go our way and maybe it gives the offload to, to Shawnee or maybe RTS doesn't get taken out by Brad and Bess and all that in that little coverage there. And he yep. could have flicked it back out. So it's going to do a lot of good things in the future. This is um, that same thing, a little bit better execution. Yep. Um, Frizz is that? No. Yeah. Um, Croker. Yep. Croker gets Croker this time. Yep. Good Good hard line by Barnett. Um, and they just want, they probably just want someone off of that a little bit there. Mm. Again, just sort of, um, but still nice, you know. I would love to see that second variation because if you, like, if you saw that before, like Egan's on that other side too and they're cut yeah. short for number. Yeah. Yeah, that that too. There's that option as well. Because um, both times I saw this, you know, Egan is running that support play there to start with. So I'm guessing there is a second shift that comes off the back of that. Yeah. So we'll see that in the future, hopefully. I hope so. But yeah, just again, just generating stuff. Um, I think, yeah, we've moved. But talking about it, this mm. was a very grinded out game. Both teams, oh. massive, like just really fought hard. Um, but I just, you know, I think credit to the Knights as well. They were, they were really good, but our boys, man, we just, we, we, we held on. Um, 100% bro. Yeah. It was a battle, man. It was a really good battle. Good tussle. And I think all the boys mentioned that after the game, like the Knights came and, and gave a great game. Yeah. They were really keen to be honest on this one. So really, really good to see that we held them out. Just world class kick here. Yeah. And tough timing, to defend. tough to defend. Our boys do the best they can. Um, could RTS get across? Who knows? It doesn't really. I think you have to give credit to Ponga there. Um, yeah. RTS still, again, trained as a centre, um, you know, that type of thing. But I just give credit to Ponga there. Nice bounces up again. These things, ball falls in their favour. But, yeah, really good execution. It's, a, it's what makes the night so crazy, bros. You know, you got a player that like can create stuff like this in Kale and Ponga, even with their halves and that, maybe not getting him in the most amazing positions possible. Uh, with the limited positions that he has, he just makes everything so like, just like red alert. Everything's red alert all the time. Yeah. I and noticed again, they had a lot yeah. of momentum when Braley came on too. Um, Braley did a lot of good things in this game. Yeah, and look at this. They get they catch Sean in that line. Yep. Kind of napping a little bit. Yep. Look how far out uh, Barry is holding for the outside. Yeah, and massive they get, bit of space. They, yeah, they catch Sean. Like Sean needs to be on that outside more. Mm -hmm. um, but they get they get it again, and it's credit to them. And it's the Especially cutout again. Yeah, early on too. Like you know, early like we're further up the field. Obviously, you know, Shawnee should have allowed our our middle fours to cover there. Yeah, let them come through. Yeah, and. and and let the cover from the inside come through there. Yep. Dallin tries to get it. Great pass. Great pass. Sorry, I just cut out that extra stuff, but... No, great <laughs> <I can't>. pass. <laughs> SJ and, and Ponga were just like... Tussling, eh? Hey. And SJ fell yeah. over. He was gassed at the end of it. Eh, <laughs> Young SJ would have got there. Young SJ would have got real, there. The real Dally M and the fake Dally M were better than <laughs> now. <laughs> And then the ex M over here says, yeah, hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Who has more Dallium's, boys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two to one. Yeah, it should be two to one. Look at that, Look at bro. That. Turn. Oh. And Nari should have done the old dummy and go, you know, the old one where you. The double play shit. Cat and mouse, <laughs> play cat and, yeah, yeah. And then you. Fuck. But to do that, I mean, artists. And look at this. Seize it, maintains eye contact. Yep. 
bang. Oh, that bro, that Jeez. saved the day because that felt like that felt like Canberra Raiders last year. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But yeah, I just great stuff by RTS there, man. I thought save the day. Um, but yeah, that wraps up uh, the video footage, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, big ass <laughs> uh, Um, but thanks for doing that. And and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop that that footage up, and uh, for the Wananga segment. Um, so if you want to watch it again, obviously you can come watch it here. But I'll chop it up and put it back out. Um, as a separate 100%. thing. But thanks, Ash, and thanks everyone for for hanging there. Um, hopefully the quality uh, con- uh, quality wasn't too bad. Um. A little bit sharper this week, um, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, let's move on to. Um, we talked Metcalf. Let's talk Teamless, man. Shit. Yeah. Okay, let's get into Big it, guys. Um, pardon me. Um, the changes. Obviously, Chance is back. Clockstag Nickel Chance. KNC is back. <laughs> Are we doing and, this now? Nah, <laughs> nah, I don't want to start. Because I've got this follow. I'm just looking at the other team list, and it's got Isaac Tui Tupo Thompson. So it's Isaac Thompson Tui. T- it's Thompson Tui Tupo Isaac. Far out. No, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do this. Uh, CNK, DWZ. Uh, we're going to go with the old, um, uh, what's the acronyms? Uh, Rocco, RTS back at center, bro. Um, Tamaide uh, mm-hmm. is the big one that we, uh, and should be a good talking point. <clears throat> Uh, to partner Sean, Adam Fennell, Blake Egan, Mitch Barnett, Jackson Ford, Morata comes in for Ooh. Capewell, who we've just found it, had, had an HIA. Yeah. Um, and Tohu obviously rounds that starting 13 off. Then you got Lusik, Ale, uh, for Jazz at the moment, and that's the big talking point, and we're going to get into that. Um, but let's talk first about Chance, bro. Um, mm-hmm. What's your thoughts on that? So excited to see that man back. You know, um, we saw obviously RTS nearly break that 300 uh, the other day. Um, Ch- uh, Chance can do very similar things, as in work rate from the back. He doesn't obviously have the RTS sidestep and all that, but his work rate, you know, the what I think we did, RTS does really well. And we saw a little bit in the last couple of games, especially with Tane um, for the middle and that. But, you know, those third tackle runs, those second, third tackle runs that chance he has through the middle and creates that momentum. Uh, just, you know, the back of Dallin, Marcelo having chance. We could honestly get two of us in the middle and like create havoc from the middle. I think that's what could really open up our game plan here, um, especially when we got Wade Egan and all that. So I'm just really excited to have him back. I know there's so much conversation at the moment, especially from Aussie media. I'm sure we all know as Warriors fans what the go is and why we're going this way. Webby's been so straightforward with it from the start, but um, you know, it's going to be a talking point, RTS or Chance Outback. I agree. Chance, I think our team looks better when we have Chance Outback and RTS because we have so many good players in multiple different positions. I think, you know, RTS is a better center than Chance is. Um, and then, you know, Chance obviously is not as good as a fullback as RTS, but he's he's just a, like, he's not that, he's not a ton, ton far away, if that makes sense. He almost won a golden boot last year, the Pacific Championship for the Kiwis. Yeah. Yep. He's incredible, bro. It's good to have him back. Yeah, no, I'm excited for it, Avery. Like, it, it, he just brings that. He's going to bring a lot of things back that we just, we, we kind of like little things that we were maybe missing. Um, yeah. Little details in defense, little um, link plays and attack, um, you know, things that he's, you know, he's crafted with Sean, especially on the right side, um, those types of things. Um, 100%. Yeah, yeah, so we've got to be really good. Uh, shout out Michael Williams. You're Ew. showing love to the channel, my bro. Yeah, and guys, if you are 66 of you guys, we appreciate yeah, you being bro. here. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you're here for the first time. And if you're on Ash Thomas's page, give him a like and a subscribe as well. We appreciate you all coming in uh, to share the court at all there. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's going to be a great impact. Going to uh, and RTS back at center is going to be just as good as well. Um, we saw Pompey did a good job. I think RTS. We obviously know what he brings. He can bring those carries. Um, I think with Tamaine now we can we can get into talking a little bit about those connections, yep. and how that might look. Um, but yeah, good. Steph's bring up a good point. C and K positioning on tech is on point. It is. 100%. I think we'll start to see corrections and little things and how we move, and um, we'll start to notice that the attack wise, you know, sometimes we have been getting caught out. Um, I think we'll sort of see little positional adjustments, little tweaks that you know make the plays 
effective. And I think chance is a big, big part of that. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, to my end, man, let's talk about this. Now, we guys, we were both on the CHT train mm. uh, for various reasons. Um, Tomide comes in. What's your view on why Webby has gone for Tomide? I'm thinking it's more going off the back of the combination that was built last year when we had no Metcalf. I felt like maybe it's a comfortable thing just to go back to Tomato and have that, you know, that we've had that before, like last year, very recently. Obviously, CHT had a year off and all that. I, I'm still on the whole thing of like, you know, last week I thought CHT did really well uh, covering there. But obviously, you know, as you touched on before the show and all that, um, maybe Tomato is just on that tree at the moment. It goes like Shawnee, Metcalf, Tomato Martin, and CHT is more of that a player that's going to cover if we need him there, or you know he's going to be that utility player that we bring off the bench and all that, which we could probably see happening maybe this week as well. So, or maybe not. Um, but I'm excited to see how Tomato goes. Like, obviously, you know, I haven't been crazy, crazy out as well impressed with him in cup and all that. Uh, he's still an amazing football player, and like you know, I I think that. He has had a little bit of a neg uh, negative stigma around him after the way he ended last year. I think he's going to be a lot better than that. And um, he just needs more time, bro. He's he's an incredible player. He's got an incredible skill. I love the way he sums up three-on-two situations and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to really connect really well, hopefully, with a bit of time between those two boys there. Yeah, and I, and I see everyone in the chat saying it, it is a bit – we're all kind of a bit surprised a little bit. Um, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think Tomata might be on right here is that CHT has an impact from the bench. And again, um, we might see him fall into the bench somehow. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but it's just, I'm not too sure what, um, what we'll see, but I, I'll, well, it's better to see it now than, than later on. Um, yep. it's, it's kind of like. Well, maybe maybe he wants to get a look at it now if it's not working or well then i've got cht that i know can work yeah um so this may be i think this falls on to my dear to to have a really good performance yeah um because if he doesn't i feel me personally i feel as though cht is more than capable look he just came on then in that game got a try give a try assist through try a kick assist. yep defensively sound nothing majorly leaked down his side no strong defensively i i, I would be really thinking to my dear if as much as he can have a positive impact on the team yeah um so but it is it is um <clears throat> it is a, it is a kind of an interesting one we'll just have to wait and see but what's what if you from your experience and with watching to my dear, mm -hmm. and it's kind of weird like we are crossing paths in terms of Metcalf's going to come back in similar to how Tomaide yep. came back in where just a massive chunk of the season. He started off great and then it, and then he just missed so much football. It's like he was starting again and, and kind of struggled to find his feet. Yeah. Playing a bit more cup, hasn't you know, had any injuries, but how does he work in with the likes of a Ford, the likes of a RTS uh, Montoya? And, and what, what can he do in terms of that, that link play and how can, how it might look? It's probably the more positive part of his game, to be honest. Is um, I, I'd I'd say he's more of a pass first uh, sort of six than like uh, comparatively to a Luke Metcalf. So our attack that side will look a lot different. Um, obviously he won't be that run first, uh, number six. Um, darting in behind, but he probably will give a lot of good ball, a lot of good service to uh, Jacko, to RTS, hopefully a lot of early ball to RTS. I think that's the biggest key that we want at the moment is um, if we're going to go that left side, uh, left-hand channel, um, teams aren't, we'll probably need to work with Jacko a little bit more to open up space for RTS and give him early ball and let it work. I think, you know, teams, teams will probably end up sitting off him knowing that he's not a run first sort of six. So we yeah. will have to open up sort of lanes for stuff like that to happen. So, um, yeah, it just look a little bit different. Obviously, you know, he's a pass first sort of six. So that's probably what we're going to see a lot more. Maybe Shawnee won't be sweeping around that side too much comparatively okay. to where Mets, um, we obviously like to get Mets on those three on two situations on the outside, like a fullback. Um, we may not see very similar things like, oh, we may, we may do. Um, yeah, it's just a wait and see sort of prospect. I think they linked up really well in those first early games last season, the Roosters game and all that. Unfortunately, we went down with that one, but, um, yeah, I, I'm, ex 
I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see because I want to see positive view, like positive game from Tomato and get him yeah. back in the good books to the full, yeah. for the fan base. You know what I mean? Yeah, we want to get him in. We I like we like the guy. I like the guy. Um, we want him to be have a positive experience. Um, so no, I to- totally totally agree there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see till that happens. Um, let's go. What I will um, say, just to finish off, my yeah. bro, I've, from memory, I remember Jacko Ford probably had his best footy next to Tomato Martin as well. Good call. Uh, very early on in the season, you know, he was scoring tries, you know, with those short balls and stuff like that. So uh, maybe we'll see Jacko, you know, maybe become a little bit more of a first play game plan. Um, and then, you know, hopefully that opens up RTS later on as we kind of touched on just before. So. Yeah, yeah, hopefully yeah. see that. Let's hopefully see. Let's see some of that. Um, Morata in form Cape Well. Um, mm-hmm. let's tie in the bench with this. And, mm-hmm. and because there's gonna be a few things me and me and Ash talked off here. Yeah. How this may look. Now, overall, are you happy with Morata at in the back row there? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. We know we can cover there. Um, you know, he played a lot of the good footy there last year. And um even in the trials, you know, scored a try in that edge back roll position, cutting back in against the Tigers. Was it Tigers, I'm pretty sure? It was the Tigers on that one, I'm pretty sure. Um was it? Or was it the Dolphins? I can't remember now. It's off the top of my head. But you know, he played a lot of good footy on the edge back row roll. He'll do a job there. The only thing we're talking about here is minutes and like if he can last the if he's even going to go out for the full 80 because there's no one really there at the moment other than a guy we're probably down to touch on that's gonna maybe could help him cover in that side. So you know, Tom Ale has played edge at a pinch. Um, you know, Bunty O'Fall is a middle. Jazzy Tavanga is a middle. Freddie Lussick's a hooker. Like, there's no yeah. one that's going to cover edge there unless we push Mitch Barnett to the edge or bring a young fella up in. Uh, I, I'm going to bring this up, guys. Um, I think it's kind of a, a, a good one to look at because we're going to kind of mix and match what we think may happen here. Now, I, I'm off the bat. I'm going to say Marata has trained as an impact forward. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think he'll play the 80 minutes um, that Kate Well has been playing. No. So we need to accommodate a, a rotation for him, I would feel. Yep. Do you agree with that? 100%. And, and what would that rotation look like? No, say, so now at the moment, off, based off the current bench, mm-hmm. who's gonna, who on that bench is going to fill in um, for, for him? To come off I, the bench. yeah there's two options for me uh i wouldn't be surprised if we do go with this first option and that is playing mitch barnett through long minutes on that edge and having bunty a to start out the game and pushing uh, marata back off the bench as an impact forward maybe keeping him in that sort of role wow um that was just off the top of my head there like kind of going through it the second option obviously is uh when you know marata's come off uh again shifting mitch barnett to the edge and having either tom Ale, a jazzy or bunty to fill in that front front row position so that's really yeah. the way i think it's going to go uh but i actually yeah looking at this team if we don't see jacob laban which i think we may not even though i would be excited to see him i'm sure everyone else would be excited to see him in first grade and all that but like i am swaying towards we've seen it last year mitch barnett going to the edge especially covering that uh left-hand side attack of latrell cody walker galon matangi um all those boys on that side it's gonna be a big yeah it's a big effort, and obviously Mitch Barnett is a very defensively sound uh, edge back roller. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. And, and another call, maybe you don't want to throw Laban to the wolves because <laughs> exactly. this time, this team is very, even though they're in a rough patch, they're very good with their left side attack. Hundred percent. The shape they get off of Walker and that. Um, I don't. I, I wouldn't say this game is too big for Laban. I. 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 I, don't, I wouldn't say that. You kind of feel you wouldn't want things to fall pear shaped around the kid, um, exactly. Which I don't think it would, but it could be. I, I don't know. What am I? Am I reaching for that, or is that? What do you think? No, no way, man. I think we saw last year. Um, you know, Webby was very versatile through the the squad that we have on paper with our starting squad here. Like as we touched on before, like Barnett played a lot of edge last year when people went down. Um, you know, we got players like Jazzy and all those boys that are going to cover in the middle if we do switch that all around and that. So it's such a vers- versatile squad that we have on paper right now. Um, I'd say probably the only change that could maybe happen is maybe Chanel coming in late, depending on like where we go Freddie, where we go him or whether, you know, we keep 
someone like Jazzy or Tom Ali in there. So, yeah, I, I, I still reckon we're going to do a lot of shifting there with Mitch Barnett. I think he's the man that we're going to be pushing around in this game. I'd say so. I'd say so as well. Um, then, then if you're going to do that rotation, what, what would be your bench structure there? Um, yep. So if we're going to do that bench rotation there, so would we say that Nick, uh, Nick Gordet was playing the first probably 20, 30, 40 maybe? Yeah, I think he'll play the first 30. From um, my history of watching Nick Gordet, the first 30 is usually pretty good for him. Yep. And then it does tail off on the back end yeah, of, yep. the, of the first half. You might go, yeah. So they might do that thirty-minute shift. I'm, I reckon. Do you think um, Barnett and, and uh, AFB will play that long thirty minutes, or do you think it'll be a short, short twenties? I, I reckon added ads could get through a decent. Well, judging on the the bench we got now with the three middle forward bench, I could probably see him coming off twenty-five, <laughs> around that twenty-five yep. thirty. Uh, Mitch probably playing a lot longer in that first stint and obviously moving to the edge. And then um, we'd probably bring on Bunty as our first cab of the rank. <laughs> Usually Bunty is our first cab of the rank yep. um, to hold that, that middle in place. Um, and then we got our impacts with like Tom Ale and Jazzy uh, to really lay it on within those 10 minutes blocks between halftime after yeah. halftime to bring, build momentum. We'll see those boys come on. The, the, the other thing you could do is you go AFB and Barnett off, bring on... Um... Bunty and Jazz or Bunty and Tom, whoever, whoever you want. Yep. Um, and then Barnett comes on just before half or could be if Marata's fine to play 40, he's fine. Then he might come in on the second half. Marata may go off. They'll bring in uh, a Tom Ale. Yep. Barnett will move to the edge in the early second half. Yep. Do 20 minutes. He might play there the rest of the game. Who knows? Um, yep. And then and then Marata may come back as an impact forward. Um after his stint on the bench there's you know what i mean exactly exactly i'm kind of swaying towards the first thing i was thinking of i really do think if we're going to put mitch barnett in there i reckon maybe we're going to start with him and we're going to go roll with him and marats is probably going to come off the bench i i just have a feeling like i okay. think like webby would be yep. stuck to that i want to build him as a uh, impact forward and we'll probably use him like that especially coming second game off injury i think that may be more so the way we go especially when we got bunty that's more of that you know, he can start out a game, hold the things together in the middle. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? If there's anything we've learned is that um, <laughs> do, do, don't take these that bench as, 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 uh, as, yeah. as concrete. No uh, if, wait till the 24-hour cutoff and then even wait till the one-hour cutoff. Even then, bro, yeah, where <laughs> Chanel came in late, well, I was like, oh, God, what's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> what's yeah, happening uh, here? But, um, yeah, it's good to talk um, – I suppose potentials. Hundred percent. Um, let's let us let us just theorize. Theor, theorize. Um, mm -hmm. If you did have a Laban come in, what would the bench look like? I would possibly say, just judging off like previous games and that, maybe Tom Ale would drop out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know, Jazzy's played amazing. You know, when he stepped up for us for now and yeah. all that, um, he could possibly be the one to drop out as well. Uh, judging on you know when Walker was there and all that, Jazzy was the one to drop out, but. Yeah. With Tom Arle being that other cab off the rank, I think he's the one to drop out. Jacob Laban will go on that edge, and Murata will come back as an impact forward. So, and we'll probably see Laban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it feels it feels such uh, like a big thing. Like I think I know Laban can actually cover and do an amazing job there. We've seen him do amazing things in cup and all that, and he's an incredible like young talent. I just um I know like just knowing Webby, I don't think Webby's gonna throw a young fellow in if like. You know, I, I reckon he would probably, at worst, would bring him off a bench if he really wants to think about anything. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that no Dylan Walker at all, like mm. on the on the 23-man squad, which, yeah, says a lot. Like maybe he's re-aggravated the leg. Um, yeah. So uh, it's a foot injury, I believe. Um, so, yeah, that's another thing to be aware of. When does Zion come back? I'll tell Joyce... Uh, Saying here, uh, I I think he's in the mix. I think I've seen he's been in the cup games. Yeah, he's been. In, last I think week. in the last two games or the last one, one or two. I'm sure he's been in the last two. But yeah, uh, he's been back uh, and he's getting through his work and all that. Still doing an amazing job. I love that combination of them and uh, Stowers Smith, uh, bro. Yeah, such a good young. Uh, incredible forward pack that we have in Cup. So uh, he'll be there sometime. I don't think, uh, judging on the way we look uh, this year, 
I don't know if we see Zion unless we lose a lot of injuries or cover. Maybe if Origin time, maybe if people are looking at some of our boys over Origin, we may not see Mayu like much this year, if any. If you think yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 It'd be interesting. But I think these guys will get a shot. Um, like I've seen periods of injuries before. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we've gone we've we've gone as far as Dimitrik last year. Yep. Um, yeah. Big Koss has done, you know, he's been called on early. So there's yep. no doubt these guys will get a, um, um, yeah, they'll get a shout. And, and yeah, big call. Um, sh- yeah, agree with Ash's thoughts. South's pack, I know, push off. Yeah, it's going to be a big physical game. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to really cope with that. Um, okay, let's let's get into um, the, the combined 17. Were you cool with that? 100%, brother. Let's okay. Latrell versus <laughs> KNC. <laughs> KNC. Making me hungry, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I mean tough. I mean chance to keep back in to, to there's no, you know, um we'd have to use a bit of reputation in this situation. But uh, where are you at with Latrell? And and yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan of Latrell. Like I personally like Latrell. I'm not one of the Latrell haters out there and all that sort of stuff. And I think he does an amazing job at what he does. You know, in strike moments, he put something. Uh, he'll do something special, like sort of like a KP, but probably a little bit less of the work rate than KP. I still think that Latrell yeah. does his best work at center, and I still believe that 100 percent because I think he's built for center. Um, as a fullback, he carries a lot of weight. He has to get through way more work than what I believe he should be going, getting through. I think he's a Ferrari. He's definitely not a Toyota Hilux or anything like that. So um, where you look at the other end, Chansey, bro, he does not stop. He's all game. And with the jump that he had last year, like <clears throat> this was what makes it really, really tough for this one. Like if you're going a couple of years back, you'd pick Latrell all day of the week. But yeah. I think, yeah. This one's really, really tough. <laughs> I, I could I could easily give this a draw here, but if I'm yeah, gonna yeah. sway Oh bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna sway the way of chance just because of the yeah. work rate. Uh, you gotta go work through the rate. work rate. Well, it, it's the Egan argument where you, you, you rate the other hooker because of work rate. Mm-hmm. And whereas yes, Latrell is very good on those kind of ponga looks, three on twos, three on ones. Yep. Draws a lot of attention, can create He's a creative fullback. Yeah. A chance beats him on work rate, I'd say, even if even coming off of injury. Yeah. You just know chance is probably gonna have a bigger numbers game, a more general spread of impact. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so if we were just to pick names out off here and Latrell yeah. wasn't playing fullback, I think Latrell like oh, straight absolutely. into a sense of position. Absolutely. But yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I you gotta go to Chansey with his work rate, bro. I completely agree. Yeah, okay. So, are we going to do uh, wingers? Or are we doing match? What are we doing? At the <laughs> right wing, uh, left wing, and right wing? Eh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll do our left wing, right wing. Uh, so, so, this who, one. Who's their left winger? Their left winger currently would be, judging by this team list, would be uh, Thompson, mainly Thompson, because yeah. of, you know, AJ's out and he's the new uh, face back into this lineup here. So, Thompson versus Montoya. Who have mm. you got? I got Monty. Monty yeah. all day. I think Thompson's a, a great player and, you know, still young. Well, I don't think he's that young, but he's still young to first grade, obviously. You know, he hasn't played a ton of first grade. Uh, Marcelo, just, yeah, the work rate. He's hard to tackle. Breaks game open. Thompson's hard to tackle. You know, he's a big tackle buster, but, you know, work rate-wise, I'll go Marcelo. You go Marcelo? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with I'm with you. I'll go Marcelo as well. Uh, right side is Tane, uh, Tane Milne. Tane Milne, my apologies. Yep. Um, versus Dallin Watene Zelezniak. I'm going um, Dal. Dal, I'm going yeah. Dal. Easy. Dal all day, bro. I think Easy. Dal's, what, top 10, top 5? Oh, would it be crazy to say top 5 winger in the game right now? Yep. Yeah, no, I have to. Um, Whiten versus Sheko. Is it? Is that right? White yeah, so, left center? Yep, left center, yep. Um, I'm going Sheko. You're going Sheko? Wow. Mm. What, how's Whiten been this year? I haven't really watched him on a lot, a lot of sales, but played his second game on the week or first game of the weekend. Um, fuck, my memory's losing on me right now, but played a decent game on the weekend, scored two tries. Uh, his work rate's always there. He's just a great footballer, uh, but like Rogers, a great footballer, but has like that little spice, like yeah. the sidestep, the tackle breaks, like 
he he's actually really good at at five eighth. Um, what's his name? Jack Whiten. Whiten, yeah. Mm. He's got a you know what I mean. He's got that little bit of. I liked him as as a five eight at Canberra. I thought he was really good there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, again, a threat. Rocco versus <laughs> Rocco's getting it every week. He's got Bradman best one week, and he's got Boom <laughs> White in the next. Like this kid is booming. Holding up in every part of the game. Um, I believe he'll do a job too, Barry. I really do. Yeah, I think, yeah, you know, yeah. Jack White and still, you know, he hasn't, he's not a week to week center yet. Like he's a center to throw up an origin, 100%. Like he'll do a job. But week to week, I week think week, Rocco, the details, yeah, yeah, Rocco yeah. will be there. And you're going to say Rocco did a job on Brad and this day, bro. Just shut him down. He did well. Oh, far out. Love this kid. Uh, Tass versus um, Rocco. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you got? Rocco. Rocco. Okay. Rocco. I again catchphrase. I love Tass. I, I, <laughs> I've actually player. I've actually watched Tass uh, coming through cup and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I've always rated Tass. Uh, it was so good to see him get a shot and all that and stay around this Rabbitoh squad. I think it's been really good. That, yeah, he is a good player. He's a good. Player. Yeah, I think he's a gun player. So you know, but Rocco, bro, I think he's got a higher ceiling than Tass. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, now we're just going to combine the halves, so the best yeah. two out of the four. Yep. Um, I think it's quite simple. Uh, Mitch Johnson is. and Walker. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. And yeah. good, good battle, good, good battle for Tamaiti. Uh, will will Tamaiti be coming up against Dean Hawkins' side? Is that right? Technically, yeah. Cody would be attacking our right Sean. side. Be which taking Shawnee. Yep. Which would be a great so, yeah. Battle. If yeah. The other side. Yeah. Yeah, Which, you know, the Rabbits will be attacking our possible more weaker side defensively in pass with, like, forward and all that. Um, where Shawnee's side, obviously, we got, you know, Murata, if he does play and all that. I think, you know, that's the side that's going to do a lot of work in this game. Dean Hawkins won't see a lot of that side of footy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Totola versus Fanil Blake. Mm. Um AFB, yeah, AFB, AFB all day, baby. Yeah. AFB all day. Um, Wade Egan versus Cook. Good, good battle here. Battle for the actual New South Wales hooker. Although he is a New South Wales centre, Damien Cook. So I <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, bro. Shout out New South Wales, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we're um, going... Oh. So this one's tough because, like, obviously, you know, the whole thing of Cookie, like, you know, as a player, you know, Origin... Um, he's been such a great hooker for such a long time. But if you go on like off form, if Egan's not injured, I honestly think in form wise, I would choose Egan. Yeah. It's a big thing. Like, you know, Cookie form wise at the moment, it's been good, but hasn't been to Cookie standards at all. Yeah. 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 It's a tough one. Oh, this, this is a great battle. This is it a great is. battle. Do you want to it give is. it a tie? Or how is Cookie rolling at the moment? He's been good, man. He's been good. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, last year he was on a little bit of a down year. Um, this year, it looks like he's doing a lot better. But obviously, the Rabbitohs just haven't been the same side this year. Like they're yeah. they're on a little bit of a I'll, downward slump. I'll, I'll give this a tie. I think. I think. Um, I, I think. It, yeah. I will. Yeah. I, I know. I haven't looked deep into it. It probably is either or. But should we just go tie here? Yeah. I, I think it's one that. that's gonna. It's a fair one. Um, yeah. Jackson Ford, not biased, but I'm going for Jackson Ford over Crayon. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Crayon Kalumatan. Oh, oh, he's going to hate me this way too. No. We're watching <laughs> up these names, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> What's his actual name? Cre is it Creon? No, Cleon. What is it? Keon. Oh, Keon. Keon. Yeah, yo, yo. Oh, Creon, bro. Bro, I, I've, I've accidentally called him multiple different things, but yeah, Keon, Kalon, Matangi. <laughs> um, yes, yes, yes. Um, Jacko here is saying, no, nah, cut the bias. Cook is better. Okay, are we, are we, are we being is – a, is it a clear cut? I'd say – this year, bro, I don't. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Like, if like we're taking injuries away from it, I think Egan's game, deceptively this year at the moment, has been a lot better than Cookie. Does uh, only because yeah. Cookie, like last last year, wasn't up to form, and I guess it's a lot. It comes down to this: the Rabbits forward pack hasn't been amazing this year, so maybe we're not seeing the best out of Cookie. Um, and Cookie's incredible, bro. Like, yeah, it. Maybe I could be swaying a little bit Egan way bias wise, but. Just I haven't been crazy impressed with Cookie this year. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And Tomo is saying, is that actually Jackson Ford? Yeah, it is, bro. 
It is actually Jackson Vaughan. <laughs> With the Freddie Lussick. <laughs> With the Freddie Lussick. He loves Lussick. <laughs> you know who he wants to start. But um, nah, bro. That was just a little bit of April Fool's. That was a dry April Fool's. I know. It was dumb. But um, <laughs> there you go. It's your last <laughs> April Fool's of the day. Um, <laughs> unless that team was just April Fool's and everyone's all she all good. Bro. Um, imagine that, eh, bro? And then they're like, sorry, guys. That was, a, that was April Fool's team was... All the news stories that came what out was, yesterday. It's Tuesday. My goodness. Oh, Sorry, guys. Man. What am I talking about? It's not even funny. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I've had the day. I've had the day off today as well because I, I, for those that know, I work in schools and they had the day off today. So I've just morphed into. It's blooming <laughs> second of April. I'm an idiot. My problem. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, okay. Well, let's move on. Um, freaking Barnett versus Burgess. Freaking hell. Yeah. Good matchup. Um, I'm taking Barney. Only because I know Barney can get through long minutes and do a lot more through that. Uh, wow. Burgess will go for a good 30 in that, and he's an impact forward at the moment. We're going like younger years, like him when him and Sam and all that first came through and they played a lot like bigger minutes So uh, for say. Um, maybe it's a bit tougher, but I'm going Barney just because he's work rate for sure. Barney for work rate, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go there as well. Yeah. Um, but Tom isn't, man, the impact he can make. Oh, bro, uh, it's yeah, massive. Yeah. It's massive. Keon versus oh, so actually Keon is the is he the left? Uh, at the moment, yeah, he's our left, uh, their left side. Second, it is Keon versus Jackson. Yes, mm -hmm. who we got? I'm taking Golomatangi. I, I, I you have think to. he's that? Like, yep. How's he looking it, this year? Good, good on that left side. Um, you know they use him a lot more than what I actually expected. Um, being in that left side now, being like you know with Cody Walker's side and that, usually that edge back role is always a, a decoy. Usually, but um, they actually use him a lot more and actually opens them up a little bit better. Um, they haven't used him to his full advantage yet, but um, just knowing you know off of last year too on that right side, he's so tough to handle. Um, he's he's one of those upper echelon type of second rollers in my opinion. I, yep. Okay. We'll, we'll give them that. We'll give them that. Um, Jacob Host versus Marata. You yeah, it's him. not even close, bro. Marata all day. Wow. Not even close. Oh, yeah. oh. Hostie's, Hostie is, for me, a, a stopgap second roller because they're missing Jai Arrow, all these other gotcha. boys. Yep. Yeah, so he's definitely someone that we can really target in this game as much as we can. Does a solid job, but he's just like, for me, one of those toiler type of players, if okay. that makes sense. Gotcha, yeah, yep, cool, cool. And then um, Murray versus Harris, two captains, <sighs> beautiful. Oh. You gotta can say we push, Cam Murray? Would you can say we push Cam Murray to an edge? <laughs> no, <laughs> then run to who? I, I, would have to, I would have to sway Cam Murray in this yeah, one, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, you go good Murray. And I love Tohu, but. I love Tohu. Um, yeah. I think Cam's, yeah, he's, he's that guy at the moment. Yeah, Cam's got the full game that Tohu has slightly. Like I think you know they're ball playing. Like maybe Tohu has the upper hand on ball playing just a touch, but like the quick play to ball speed and all that that Cam Murray brings. But yeah, he's he's a beast. Okay, so let's go from the top. We got one to Chance, mm -hmm. uh, two to Dallin, um, Rocco. Oh, we gave that for Rocco three. I think we four, gave the whole back line to us. Four, five to Montoya. And then they've got one six Brody. to one. Uh, Funnel Blake seven to one. Uh, we'll give that. Uh, we'll give them Cook actually. We'll just make it seven to two. Yep. Eight to two for we gave Barnett to us. Eight to three. Coil oh, Matangi. Uh, nine to three. Marata. And nine to four. Murray. Yeah. Um, let's go bench. So this is the best four out of eight <clears throat> players. Yep. Um, Shiva, that looks like kind of a young bench for them. Um, yeah. who, who have we got? Who's the first pick of that eight? The first, the first pick in my opinion out of that would be, uh, Talos Duncan. I love Talos Duncan as a footballer. So young, still nice. a little bit raw in that, but bro. Is he the head gear guy? He's a headgear guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's good. He's good. He's, he he's good. a gun. He's a gun. So got to have yeah. him first. Uh, second out of all these boys, I would probably go. I love Jazzy, so I'll have to go Jazzy. I'll go Talos Jazzy. Yep. Um, oh, Kippy, he's Swiss. from Manly. How's he going? Yeah, hot and cold, eh? Hot, hot and cold. Okay. He's just one of those players that always has a lot of like hype around him and never fulfills it. 
I'm not too sure why. A lot of it comes from Supercoach, if you're a Supercoach player at all. Uh, yeah, I believe that. Every year he's at like 300K range and that, and everyone's like, this is the year that he's going to put out the high work rate and that. Just never gets to it. Um, okay. So yeah, I'll go Talos, Jazz. I'll probably throw up Davy Mawale and uh, Bantia 4. So two, two, two each. Yeah, at least two each. Okay. Tom cool. Ali is a tough one there. It'd be a four and Ali or maybe and Mawale. Mm. They're the three. I actually think if the little detailed Bunty is doing really well off the bench. I know we talked about him as a starter. Mm. It's surprising how good he's doing. And I know he's still doing the same attributes as what he was doing as a starter in many ways, but he, he is doing his job well. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, and I, I agree. And amongst agree. this group of players, he actually probably fits in. I do um, agree, bro. I do agree. Amongst those uh, that, that eight. So, yeah, so two for two. So that was, I think, maybe 11 to six maybe in the end there. Yeah, I can't really Something remember. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It does show where we've come as a team as well. Um, I tried to be at least unbiased. Maybe I was a little bit biased with the way to Egan pick and all that. But, like, everything else, like, I honestly do think that we have, like, a really, really nice team comparatively to the Rabbits this year. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We we um we did um what we thought was the seventeen. I mean, every week we've pretty much got our team as the best team <laughs> in the world, uh, as you do, as um, we do. But uh, guys, appreciate appreciate uh, Ash, man, your your knowledge of all the teams, um, bro, the work you're doing as appreciate from it, it, general bro. NRL. And I just want to acknowledge you now, and I always do. But the the knowledge you're bringing to these this 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 segment is really important, bro. Thank you very much for. No, for sharing you, it bro. um thank and you. it's been yeah it's really good really insightful stuff and i know everyone's appreciating it um okay guys um that that kind of we're wrapping it up now we're coming to the end let's get into score lines predictions um now actually get to a um if you can do a actually predicted bench or predicted team if you've got any late changes in your head mm-hmm. um and then yeah and then how the game will unfold what, what are you thinking ash uh, yep. So I'm pretty confident going into this game, of course. Uh, you know, if like I did call in the Knights game that I was thinking 13 plus, I'm fairly same confident coming into this one. I feel like the Rabbits are in a position right now where we can strike on them early. They had a win last week against the Dogs, but usually like that win was not that impressive. And I feel like teams coming off a win like that are more likely to be the one. I know we're on a winning streak right now. A lot of times, you know, when you're coming off a winning streak and looking at both sides... At the moment, I feel like we can really do some damage against the Rabbitohs at the moment. I feel like at the moment, whatever's going on with the Rabbitohs, maybe I'll make a video on it or whatever in the future. Um, just the 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 way that club has slightly looked like it's imploding from the inside. A lot of talk coming from like the media of what's going on. You know, the new recruiter, Jack White, and maybe that's caused some unsettlement through the club as well. You know, Latrell and Cody, there's a lot of talk around these boys at the moment and the way they're going. So, and I don't see it really turning anytime soon. They dropped Ilias after a couple of games. I did not agree with that at all. Um, you know, especially, you know, if you're going to do that, you'd probably go Cody Walker and Jack White as a halves. Dean Hawkins, good half, good cup half. I didn't think he was ready to step up in an NRL at this stage. So I feel like, you know, JD is doing a lot of chop and changing just to save that, say that he's doing something and he's trying to fix something. But yeah. I feel like he needs to put the, the hammer down a little bit on these boys and really try to fix something. So I'm swaying towards, I'm going to go at the moment. I feel like we're still going to be finding our attack, especially with a new combination again through the halves. I'd say probably about a 24 to, or maybe, maybe a 26 to 12, 26 to eight around that i feel like you know the rabbits are going to be hard to stop if they get any sort of ball momentum if we give them a lot of ball in our line especially on that left hand side uh, i'll give them a couple couple of tries um, but i feel like the boys can really come home really strong with this one i'm very very confident on that yeah i think that the the interesting argument is um where i think all of us are hoping for a big win and i think it's been really difficult to get a big win this this year i think i yeah. really do think teams have improved i think teams are keyed in i think like the great example knights and raiders um were tough wins yeah um and it's like it's really hard to predict whether or not we're going to get these 13 plus wins um yeah we we feel like we need a breakout game but at the same time um i liked um chanel made some comments about it's for them it's more learning how to close out a game like yeah 
and, and I think what we're looking for is actually creating separation at the end instead of, you know, getting caught from behind, um, which has happened exactly. three times nearly. Yeah. Um, you look at the storm, um, Raiders, and to an extent, had that little last ten minute period where they they dropped the ball a ton, but they were there or there. But same with the Knights on the on the way home. Yep. So it's whether we can get that third or fourth try um, and create an eighteen point gap. That's for me is is the key. Yeah. Just to show improvement on the back end, just little details. Um, I think this is a tough game. I'm not even going to go close to predicting a a, a, a wipeout. I, I yep. think we actually struggle matchup wise a lot with with Souths. The shape they've always thrown at us has always been difficult to to deal with. Um, yeah, so I, I think this is a kind of another tricky one. It's a way uh, and a team looking for something, and that's always a dangerous team. I mean, they'd yeah. probably be happy with that win because the Bulldogs just gave the ball away. Um, so they're looking for themselves a confident win. Yep. But we're also looking for something too. So yeah. it's just going to be interesting to see the the battle of it. The thing I will give them is they do have quality players. Oh, um, and we saw what Ponga did, just himself being quality was dangerous. Yep. So if you had in Trell Mitt, you had in Cody Walker on his day, Cook, Cam Murray, um, uh, Burgess, when they're on, they can be deadly. So it's it's not a, it's definitely a, a catch out game. I'm not. I'm not going to go like a lot of you are predicting a, a big win here. I'm. I'm pretty much staying safe. I want to stay. Would love to say we get that fourth or fifth try, so maybe yeah, 24 points. Um, can we hold out the Souths? I think there's points in them. If, if I'm being honest, maybe a tight one again. But would love to see. Just personally, would love to see separation at the end uh, yeah. if we can get that. Um, but yeah. So what do you have, bro? You, what was your score? I was thinking around that, what does it say, like 24, 24 to 26 to like 8 to 6 to 8, oh, 8 to 10 or something like that, 6 to okay, 8. Okay, wow, yep, yep. Around those. That'd be a massive uh, performance. I performance. think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, I'm just going off currently off the form and that, but I do I do yep. agree with you, bro. They do have the players on the paper to do yep. something. They've got origin players that, you know, uh, you know, if they turn up on a day, they're going to be really tough to beat. Uh, and we have struggled recently with trying to beat the Rabbitohs. You know, our last matchups, previous meetings, well, we got beat 28 to 6, as I'm seeing here in 2023, obviously. And that yeah. was without Latrell. That was with Taff um, at fullback. And then the one previous before that, 48 to 10. Uh, the Rabbits just destroyed us during COVID time. Um, it's just, so. yeah, and they do use their size well against us. I know yeah. that, yeah, that, that size is a big packet, it's, it's a different type. Like you can deal with the Saifidi brothers, and they can be quite easy to you know hold. But when you get Tom Burgess coming at you, it's, you know some it's of tough. our guys, it can be tough to wrap up. So there's there's the offload game, got to be really tight. Um, but yeah, look, I think we'll do well. What I would say um, too, like lastly on this, bro, is um, if, you know, we when we started the season, like the certain games that we wanted to touch, like to win, and like to circle on our matchups, the ones that we didn't win last this year, is it. this, this is, is it. one of them. This Absolutely. is the one that I'm hoping Webby's gone in and gone. Listen, boys, we didn't go well last year in this matchup. It's time to uh, like to rewrite those yeah. wrongs. Yeah, and and like I think you're bang on there, bro. And I've kind of actually I lost a little bit of sight of, but this is definitely one of those games to make a statement. Yeah. Um. So yeah, let's let's hope so. I I, I would love that scoreline too, twenty four to ten or something like that's so a good solid win. It'd be good. Uh, nothing on the back end, no late tries. I, I just want to see us have a clean hot shutout. Um, but yeah, I think we're both on the same page. Um, but uh, any other, th anything else we need to cover, bro? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like my predicted lineup coming into this one, I do like the more I talk about it, bro, because I have a little <laughs> bit of time thinking, I kind of do think we're going to be playing with Mitch Barnett for a long time on that edge back row role and Murata go to the bench. Wow. Um, yep. I don't think we'll probably see Laban, unfortunately, in this one. I know a lot of fans want to see Laban as quickly yep. as possible, but. I just don't think Webby's going to throw him in, uh, especially against this Rabbit squad at the moment. I think he will go safe defensive on that side with Barnett. So I even think like the young ones, like Laban, bring them in at home. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I just flashbacks of Sifakula playing at Magic Round. Yeah, sometimes they can you know get to the young guys, and I don't think Laban's their top of guy, but nah. just bring them, break them in at home. I think it's probably the best place to do it. Um, I agree. 
but yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that wraps up uh, all you can eat, man. Massive job. Thank you again, Ash. Good man. Ooh. The knowledge you bring. I know everyone appreciates it. And appreciate um, thank it, you, everyone that's coming from Ash uh, Ash's page. We appreciate everyone in the chat. Um, sorry we didn't get to all your comments, but we, the majority of them, we know where you guys are at. Tomata, Rania, hook me up, man. Put me on Sky Sports, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, quickly, lastly, what's your thoughts on the Warriors getting NRLW? Oh, that's another topic. Yes, love it, bro. Um, I'm, 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 I've become a big fan of NRLW like the last, yeah, last season pretty much. Really got into following it. Um <clears throat> But man, it's exciting. I mean, I just saw a lot of our girls have been signed up. Yeah. Um, I think teams are starting to book in long term. <laughs> like Melly, uh, Melly Hufunga, I would have loved Melly to come home. And Georgia Hale is a big one for me. Yeah. She, did Georgia she locked up. Did she? Yeah. She's locked up till 26. But um, <laughs> I, as I said, bro, there's loopholes everywhere, man. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Yeah. We need to compassionate, compassionate grounds going the other way. We need the old uh, BFA going the other way. The old, uh, <laughs> hey, and you like, best no, believe, Adam. you best believe, right? You know, shout out to my Mrs. Cousin, Avania Belite. Like, you know, she was in our oh, inaugural, yes. one of our inaugural size and that. She was a good, part man. of the seven skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. So that's my Mrs. Cousin. I'll do my hard work, guys. I'll see if I can bring us yeah, to the Warriors. Pull a few strings, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Avania did really well at the Titans. I mean, mm. yeah, I, I think there's a lot of our girls. Uh, Shannon, if she'd love to, you know, she's my. Oh, Beast and to come back home, there's heaps of options. I mean, Gail might be great to come back. Yeah, I just think massive, massive opportunity. I think the club's done really well. The NRL have really done well. Yeah, um, I'm just really excited for the NRLW, and I think would love to see them get their own stadium, like mm. kind of a stadium deal where they play their games. Yep, I mean, it's great to have curtain raises, but I think there's a bit of value in having your own fan base. I like that. Um, would be interested to see what stadium could hold them in Auckland or yeah. um, would I would even go to the games if they came regionally out to Hamilton here or anywhere. I think they, I think in the few years to come, the NRLW will eventually have like how the premier league in in the UK have their own following. Um, yeah. It will attract its own fan base and um, I, I'll be excited to see how that goes. 100%, man. Very exciting. Great to see the girls get it up there. And, um, you know, just a team we've been waiting for. I think we've been waiting for ever since they left for COVID. And that. I'm just like, bring the Warriors back in, man. Like, um, I'm sick to go on to my Mrs. Cousins games and, like, you know, not cheering for the Titans while I'm out there. No way. I'm just, you know, just go, Barney. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Maybe you can get Volkman back as well. We'll be oh. more <laughs> <laughs> Bring a family affair, baby. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I appreciate you guys. Um, we will, yeah, we'll definitely cover some more um, of those topics. And look, mate, all you can eat warriors. Imagine that with an NRLW every week. It'd be incredible. So, yeah, we'll have to create two or three more episodes. <laughs> yeah, I love it, bro. Service. I'm here. I'm here. Um, and, and big up our girls. Uh, um, and that we have to follow the warriors there on Twitter. Um, you know, Styles, uh, Can Can Six. I don't know her actual name, but yeah, she, <laughs> she's she's amazing work. Yeah, yeah, great, great work. They're very passionate. There's heaps of them. Um, we, we appreciate all of them, and hopefully there'll be another element to add to the game. But, you know, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll wrap that up. Ash, we'll see you on Saturday, my man. 100%, um, my brother. Yep, yep. So we're doing the stream, guys, 8.30 p.m. on Saturday. Um, yeah, so come in for the post-match for the full credit. Uh, um, and Josh is saying that he's going <laughs> to he's gonna take all his gear to the stadium. Oh. And, and somehow he's going to – I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's all talk about that. Let's Bro. see what happens. Bring yeah. Cameron George online. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. yeah. Chat. I, I, someone, if, you, if you're watching this from the Warriors, can you get him a booth or VIP over there? He <laughs> can set up his laptop and his mic because he's got to, he's got to have his setup and, and a bit of Wi-Fi. Just get <laughs> him up actually, for an hour or so. They have cool. a little One New Zealand sort of booth going on in there. Have you seen all the videos One New Zealand doing with like some of the other content creators? Yeah, and stuff? yeah, 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 yeah. Get Joshy up in there, bro. Let him have a yeah. chat with us. <laughs> actually, I've a you know, little thing. I, I'm, you know excited to but yeah i'm going to, i'm doing the, the one nz next week uh, yeah they invited me in bro yeah yeah so hopefully i'll get a free jersey <laughs> no, let's go bro let's go that's all i'm, I'm, for. Nah, I'm just kidding but now nah, yeah bro, like, well deserved man your work ah, your work and all that you nah, know, i know you've been giving my flowers on the show and that but like you know you uh like the reason why yeah you've given me time and like you you've been amazing from the start bro so 
No, I appreciate you, it. All your hard work, bro. Hundred percent. Yep. No, I appreciate it. But yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. So taking the missus up for a little date night. <laughs> I, I coined it as date night, but really it's just me <laughs> and going out. <laughs> Talking yeah, shit, bro. I love it. Um, but yeah, so we'll, yeah, I'll be up there. Um, but yeah, Josh will be at Acor um, on 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 Saturday. Oh, so yeah. hopefully we catch him. It'll be interesting to see what he says. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, we'll wrap that up. Thanks again. Uh, we'll catch you guys on Saturday night. Enjoy your game. Uh, we'll keep up comms. Again, go to Ash's TikTok. You doing any stuff on TikTok or YouTube? Come yeah, out. my combined uh, 13 this week. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to Cowboys and Titans. Uh, a little bit of a nice. rivalry matchup in size. So I'm really excited to do it. Obviously, the Titans are not going too well at the moment. So I wanted to see how many Cowboys will fit in that solid squad and make it a little bit better. <laughs> Very well, cool, 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 cool. Love it. And yeah, guys, uh, catch your Ash stuff on, on TikTok. I've got it in the description. Uh, so you, you can find it in the description and everything. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for your support and we'll catch you later.